Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study of antiquity and the Middle Ages. As always, I am your host, Nick Barksdale, and today we are joined by a very special guest. It's a pleasure to have you on this YouTube channel today. Dr. Lefkowitz, thank you so much for coming on. Well, thank you very much, Nick. It's, it's, uh, it's a privilege. It's a privilege, and it's interesting after all this time to talk about these issues again. They're the question of fictional history never fails to be relevant. So, For those who may not know, would you tell us who Thucydides was and why does Thucydides matter today? Thucydides was a, a Greek who came from a wealthy, he was Athenian. We should never really, really say Greek because they were Hellenes. They were, uh, that was what they called themselves. And the Greeks, they, that name comes from Roman stuff. So he was an Athenian, and uh, from a wealthy family, which had gold mines in Thrace. And he was able to become a general because you need to kind of buy your way into these positions. But he made a big mistake, which was not intentional. He arrived too late to save the city from being, during the Peloponnesian War, from being taken over by the Spartans. And he was sent into exile by the Athenians. And this gave him a lot of time to write. He, and he was a wealthy man, so he knew how to read and write, which not very many people did in those days. And no doubt he had the staff to copy down what he wrote. And he described the war that rose up between the Greek, different Greek city-states, particularly Athens and versus Corinth and Sparta. And these... They, they were all Hellenes, but at the same time, they spoke different dialects. So you could compare it to the north uh, of the United States versus the south, where they do, you can tell which part of the country someone comes from. So, but they had slightly different customs. And the, the Athenians had a huge, were a naval power. They had, had many ships, and they knew how to use them. And... The Spartans were terrific land fighters. So that's, that he wrote about this conflict, which began in 430 um, BC and only ended around 405, 4, somewhere in there, uh, rather petered out with it is essentially at the Athens, which was very aggressive, lost. And one of the, one of the worst things that happened was that uh, they decided to in, send an invasion to Sicily uh, and in the hope of conquering Sicily. And when you conquered someplace, you got a lot of stuff from it. And Sicily was a big place for grain and very fertile as opposed to Attica, which is not fertile. And uh, it, was, it was a great idea, except that they, uh, failed, to set, they failed to conquer anything and lost everything, lost a huge number of men, a lot of money, a lot of ships. It was a total disaster. And I thought of that particular episode uh, first during, uh, well, first during the Vietnam War, and then again during the Iraq War. And you could think of it any time we, Afghanistan, it comes up again and again, this country going where it shouldn't be, involving itself in conflicts which accomplish nothing and just waste resources which might better have been spent on education and on uh, doing things for the people who have been harmed by our materialistic society. Uh, all that, I think that he's terribly relevant for his understanding of human motivations and limitations and very much worth reading today, but he's very, very hard to translate and uh, and it, it requires effort, but it, it, it's definitely worth thinking about and doing. And I, I feel very privileged to have done some, some work on him, though I've you know, done a lot of other things, too. I, I, and you can, it's just no end to things you can learn and should learn.